What's up everyone? This is Professor J.D. Olson at Kishi Dojo Martial Arts Unleashed and I have a video for you guys on some guard submissions, mainly guard chokes. So we're going to give you guys three different guard chokes that you can apply to your jiu-jitsu game right away. If you're in TFC or jiu-jitsu, this should help you out. Let's get started. Alright, for my guard chokes, okay, the first one's going to be the cross choke. I got some take here in my, uh, in my closed guard. So the first thing to do is to take one hand, swim underneath, and I'm going to grab his collar. And the farther I can grab, the better it is. Don't lock in yet. If you lock in too early, he's going to defend, so it doesn't work. Now, my secondary hand, I release my guard, and I'm going to shift myself off of this line. So now I can find the secondary hand. From there, now, you grab and you butterfly your wrists. I am now going to recenter my head as I apply the choke. So that's your standard cross choke. If they're pretty strong or they're fighting you or maybe they even have like a karate gi where they got the ropes, you might have to open the collar a little bit before you go. And that's okay. So this hand comes underneath, finds the target. I'm gonna open my guard. I'm gonna shift myself off the line. From there, this hand goes under. Remember to go under, you're not going to be able to come over and get under the collar. He's never going to let that happen. So you got to sneak it underneath. Try to find your fingers or find the tag of his gi. Now you grip, butterfly your wrists, and now I'm going to recenter myself. And even if I shift past his head, I'll catch it. This is a Professor Machado special. Let's talk about that again. I'm here. I open the collar, this hand comes underneath, finds the tag, release my guard, but this stays on his back, don't release, shift yourself off the line, find your hand, right inside there, butterfly, reset it. Now I got my hand in the collar, as I'm trying to come underneath, he is not having it. This hand is interrupting and keeping my, my position. Fine, what I do is I simply shift to this side, grab this wrinkle right here, and recenter the other way. That is your wrinkle choke, or the cross choke using a wrinkle. Doesn't matter, he's wearing a really heavy duty karate gi, that's cool, I can do it with the Jiu Jitsu gi, the wrinkle doesn't change, it's always going to be right there. So, open, here, you go for your first one, he doesn't allow that to happen, fine, I reshift. If you look right there, there's the wrinkle. I grab it. I just come right over the top. But remember, earlier, I was over here. You're not going to come across the top. It's not going to work. It has to sneak underneath. But because he's stopping me, but now I'm on the same side as the wrinkle. That's okay. And now, there's my cross choke with the wrinkle. That's your first two. Let's do the wrinkle choke one more time. Because maybe that's just the move you want. So I'm here, open the collar, and I might set this up to come over here, boom. All right, let's talk the samurai choke. Anytime in our curriculum you see samurai that's using the lapel, the bottom of it, as a handle. So I'm going to pretend, or I'm going to use this as like a katana, a samurai sword. Every single time you see samurai choke, samurai pass, samurai something, Think of something being in this kind of concept. Okay, so here I am. I pulled all this out and I'm going to pass it off to myself. From here, I'm just, I might not mess with it right away. If you want to hold on to it, that's up to you. He is controlling my biceps, so I can't go right for the submission. I have to set it up. So I circle underneath. I got the first grip. From here, just like the wrinkle choke. I got this here. If I was in the beginning, I got this here, he's still holding on, I shift, throw it around the head, and now that's the, that's the idea. And so he's not allowing this, because again, I told you, you can't come in front, right? But he's also not falling in for this. So I pull the slack out, come around the head, and then reset it. Oh, look at that face. And that's going to be your samurai choke. It's the same as the wrinkle choke, but using 
this part of his gi. How you set it up is going to be the game to play and how you might make it work. So if I somehow come here, this is where I'm at. I need to pull all of this out. Okay, if his hand's still on my bicep, you're not going to come underneath. You're going to have to come over the top. Look how I just used my knee to feed that to myself. And I relock my guard so I can kind of play around and mess with him a little bit. Then I release, shift. I make, I Palm, my thumb is facing the little end of the lapel. Throw it around the head. And now recenter. This is also known as a samurai loop choke. So it's using a looping around the head concept, depending on how you want to do it. Let's review all three submissions. Open the collar, come underneath. First move here. Shift. Get the second grip. Recenter. He's not allowing me to get that, so I shift, got the wrinkle. From here, here, pull this slack out, thumb again, facing towards the end. Okay, if you're not sure, if I go thumb towards the person, as I shift, it really hurts my wrist hard to do. So thumb towards the end, adjust, this stays on his back, punch it past the head. And now reset. And that is going to be your samurai choke. Sweet. Well, there you have a couple different guard submissions. You got your samurai choke. You also have the cross choke, and then you have the choke with the wrinkle. Okay. The wrinkle choke, of course, I got from Professor Carlos. I really like it. I've able I've been able to score that on several people throughout the last few years. So if you uh, if you get one of these submissions. In a roll, go ahead and put in the comments below that you got one of these to work and let me know which one. I'd be curious to see which ones you guys are able to score with. I will also respond to all comments. Awesome. Well, there you have it. Do me a favor, hit that like button if you're liking the content. Smash that subscribe button if you're liking the stuff you see on the channel. And last but not least, hit that bell icon. It really helps us out here so you'll know when all the videos are coming out from Kishi Dojo Martial Arts Unleashed. You guys stay safe, keep training, keep your hands up. And this is Professor JD, and I'm out.